Hello everyone, I am Deepak Chi, Assistant Professor of Commerce. Today, in this session, we will discuss regarding treatment of normal losses and abnormal losses in consignment transactions. Here, in case of consignment accounts, we will come across two kinds of losses. One is normal losses and another one is abnormal losses. As you know, normal losses are those losses which arise from normally expected or natural causes. What are reasons for What are the reasons for those normal losses? Because of evaporation, leakage, shrinkage, breakage, loading and unloading, weightment and even other causes. These kinds of losses are expected. But which can't be avoided, which is unavoidable. That's avoid Madak Sajanela. Iga evaporate Agatha and Theradaga, which can't be avoided. That's a leakage Agatha and Theradaga, which can't be avoided during certain products or during certain goods. Even shrinkage Agatha and the which can't be avoided. So these normal losses are those losses which arise from normally expected or natural causes such as evaporation, leakage, shrinkage, breakage, loading and unloading, weightment, etc. In the halwar causes, kuda kaana agbo normal losses. But natural agi, even la normal agakta the evaporation, leakage, shrinkage alla. And these losses are unavoidable and they are inherent in the goods consigned. At the goods solagade idde ratte, they are inherent but which is unavoidable and the avoid mana kago de illa. So these are all normal losses. So there are some futures of normal losses. One is it is unavoidable loss, as we are already discussed. Such loss takes place because of inherent nature of the product. By nature of the product, these losses are inherent in the product. Then such loss occur due to leakage and evaporation and even other causes. And cost of normal loss is absorbed by good units. Right? A normal loss the cost of we can't be considered in uh, as a in terms of rupees and it is not accounted for also. Adana books of account only now represent marthi but valuation of normal loss should not be considered and then value madakala normal loss of normal loss just we enter the quantity not the amount or the value it should not be accounted for so these are the features of normal loss and again for the treatment of normal loss how we have been observed in the books of account of especially in the consignment account this normal loss is considered while calculate the value of unsold stock. There should be only quantity, not the value. That should be kept in mind. Only we will consider the quantity of the goods lost. And it, should, it is not shown in the consignment account. Consignment account na value ko na normal loss na represent madadilla. And there is no need to pass entry in the books of account because we just consider for valuation of the closing stock. I can yes to quantity of goods Kalsi Devi. Yes, normal loss to yes to goods sale I to even the purposes in our consideration Martha Hurtu. We will not consider in terms of rupees, therefore, it should not be showing the consignment account and will not a pause and entry in the books of account. In the treatment, Andre actually closing stock will represent Marthi in terms of quantity, but in terms of value, no amount is entered, and therefore it should not be shown in the consignment account. There is no need to pass entry, also. Then, your next abnormal loss. Abnormal losses are those losses which arise from unnatural and unexpected causes. Unnatural, unexpected cause. Now expect them out of the law. losses, abnormal losses. Which can't be expected, but it occur. Which can't be expected, but it occur and held the which is of unnatural and unexpected. Due to fire, flood, earthquake, negligence or carelessness, war, 
theft, riot, and even accident. So here, these are all the reasons for abnormal losses. Abnormal losses now expect a model there to count the losses. Fire, short circuit in the fire at the count of which we are not expected. Flood, famine, earthquake. These are all the causes of abnormal losses. These losses arise from unnatural and unexpected causes. Here, in case of abnormal losses, these are some futures. These losses or arises due to unavoidable circumstances like fire, flood, theft, and abnormal loss is accounted for. Is in a books of account and represent Martivi. And abnormal loss is valued at cost price. Cost price is in a value Martivi. And the loss is transferred to profit and loss account. These losses are arises due to unavoidable circumstances, and it should be accounted for, and it should be valued at cost price, and it should be transferred to profit and loss account. And re, e one do abnormal loss after can the goods to now books of account are present Martivi, and that loss is to be transferred to profit and loss account. For that, we will pass certain entries for the treatment. If the goods lost or destroyed or damaged abnormally and are not insured and losses are not recoverable, goods damage are there or destroy are there, abnormal loss are there, but we are not at all taken any insurance policy and the losses are irrecoverable. Again, pass Martin on the entry profit and loss account data to consignment account. Profit and loss account data to consignment account and tele, we will transfer the entire loss. The profit and loss account. If the goods are not fully insured and it is irrecoverable losses, that's the number one one treatment. Possibilities are there. And next, when the goods lost or destroyed or damaged abnormally were fully insured and losses are fully recoverable, goods lost or get there, destroy get there, or damage or get there, that is abnormal loss or get there. And it was fully insured. Now full insurance policy thrown away, and it is irrecoverable. That, that is recoverable, fully recoverable, fullo recovery act. And then fullo compensation is made from the insurance company, so that we will receive a amount. Insurance company will do it there. Amount to insurance company account data to consignment account when the bar thevi. Or we, if we already received the check or amount, we write it as a cash or bank account data to consignment account. If it is due, due is the insurance company account data to consignment account. Already received under the compensation, cash or bank account data to consignment account. Now first case will matter that do goods lost or it do fully lost or it do no insurance policy was taken. Entire amount of loss transferred to profit and loss account. Here, goods lost are the abnormally fully insurance are the fully recovery act are there so that bank account data to consignment account if it is fully recovered already or if it is due insurance company account data to consignment account and uh, another circumstance is when the goods lost or destroyed abnormally and the losses were partly insured and now insurance policy thrown away but losses were partly insured. Partly recoverable are that amount. Insurance company account or cash account data, profit loss account data to consignment account entry. Under a, ये ना मुन recovery आ गया था. Recovery आ गया है cash or bank account. Due इधर insurance company account data. Those amount which is not recovered because we are partly insured, that amount we transfer it to profit and loss account. Total amount will be transferred to consignment account. That is insurance company account data. Or cash or bank account data, profit loss account data to consignment account if it is partly insured and partly recoverable. So these kind of treatment will arises in case of abnormal loss. That is, it is accounted for in the books of account. Fully insured, fully recoverable. One case. No insurance, no recovery. Another case. Partly recovered, partly insured. Another case. These kind of situations arises in case of abnormal losses. The next, we will move on to the differences between normal loss and abnormal loss. 
The first difference, as we know, the meaning itself, normal losses are those losses arising from natural causes such as evaporation, leakage, breakage, shrinkage, loading and unloading, weightment, etc. And abnormal losses are those losses arising from unexpected causes such as fire, flood, earthquake, war, riot, etc. Uh, the meaning itself is the first difference. And number second difference, normal losses are inherent in goods. That is by nature it appears abnormal losses are not inherent in goods. And number next difference, normal losses are unavoidable. Which is unavoidable, but abnormal losses are avoidable and avoid madabodu. Number four difference, normal losses form a part of a cost of consignment account, but abnormal losses do not form a part of the cost of consignment business. And last, there is no separate entry in consignment account. But in case of abnormal loss, there is a separate entry in consignment account as we already discussed. We will pass an entry as per the situation, if it is fully recoverable, not recoverable, partly recoverable. So these are the differences which come across between normal losses and abnormal losses. So in this session, we discussed regarding normal losses, abnormal losses, their meaning, causes, features, and the treatment of normal losses and abnormal loss and the differences. Thank you.